first I'd like to point out this video has nothing to do with neurosurgery and it has everything to do with psychology and my parents inability to see my problem had to do with sociology people's behaviors in groups you know how I behaved in group and my in psychology my you know the different um, psychological perspectives which I'm going to get into you them with you in this video the humanist perspective um, the cross-cultural perspective the behavioral perspective the biological perspective the cognitive perspective so and of course the psychodynamic perspective and the evolutionary perspective okay so the biological perspective is your physical and biological behaviors and cognitive perspective is your brain process your cognitive process the cross-cultural perspective is how the different cultures react and how that affects your behavior the evolutionary obviously is the evolution and then there's the humanistic and the psychodynamic which is the unconscious mind so when we consider all these different perspectives of psychology we know that obviously the culture shock we see in say a Mexican who's never been a foreign a foreigner an immigrant you know from anywhere Africa France an immigrant from a different culture different color skin there's different pressures from different minority groups, different ethnic groups, different kind of social pressures, different culture shocks, different cultural misunderstandings. And there's urban black culture. And there is suburban white culture. And they meet in places like schools. They meet in places like restaurants and malls. And they clash. So. That is the cross-cultural aspect that is real. We see it every day. I consider that when I consider my formula of 6S plus 3E plus 0.5B plus 0.5O, other factors. So, what did I consider? The biological perspective. It's only 0.5 of the equation. It's half of 1%. It's 1 in 200 of the problem. I considered the behavioral aspect in the, as far as your stage of mind, okay, as part as more important in the biological process than the biological error in your mind, unless it's an extreme mental disorder, which also goes under other factors. Notice that if you get a zero or a low score in both the other factors. And the biological factors, you're not going to have that far advanced of a stage of mind, obviously. And the environment, as far as it relates to you, is going to be horrible. So your resulting behavior is horrible. It works even for somebody who's brain dead. Don't you see my formula is perfect. 6x plus 3e plus 0.50 plus 0.5b equals r, resulting behavior. Now, I considered the evolutionary when I considered the other factors and the biological. I considered the psychodynamic, the unconscious mind, which relates to your soul, patterns of nature. Even Freud and fucking Young understand this. My arch fucking nemesis. They say some of the similar things that I do, but they're demons and I'm of God. Now, so I considered all the psychological perspectives and I nailed them dead on. So, looking at even from the humanistic perspective, let's look at these people as humans. Let's break them down as human beings and stop putting them in little boxes. What is the human problem here? It is the person's stage of mind. It is the biological aspects, the other factors, and their environment. As a human being, in my experience, I see it every day, all the time. I see it in little kids. When they go to the park, 
how their change their state of mind changes. I don't want to go to school crying. State of mind changes. I see it in motorcycle gangs. They all get together. Hum, 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 the state of mind of a tough guy. I see it in the professional environment. But this is a professional workplace, sir. You have to conduct yourself and compose yourself a certain way. That's why they have signs that says you have to wear your shirt, you have to wear shoes, socks in some places. I see it in the police officer's state of mind. I see it in the prisons, in the sexual predator's state of mind. I've seen it in the person who displays a great amount of self-control. The martial artist. The judge, how they're supposed to be. I've seen it in the state of mind of somebody who's corrupted by power. It is their stage of mind as relating to the psychodynamic perspective but taking a spiritual perspective as well not just looking at it through science but the lens of the spiritual world thank you